9.23. Now, if you don't know what it means to put up your gingham when it's mizzling, then uh, help is at hand. Yes, it is indeed. One local council in Lincolnshire is concerned that so few people now know the local dialect that they've set up special workshops. Students of the classes will learn that in that region, gingham means umbrella. Do you know that? I didn't. <laughs> and mizzling is a light sprinkling of rain. I thought mizzling was being misled. Uh, anyway, Colin Patterson has been finding out it's far from the only area of the UK where dialects appear to be dying out. Look at yon black cloud coming yonder, though I fear there's tea so I might have some good do yon hey, I don't know. I'll see where it's going. Aye, all right. I'll get off and get yon electric wire put up then. Farmer Wink right. and his brother Dick have been using Lincolnshire dialect all their lives, but they are worried. Or as they'd say, don't fret, niat. When we've gone, I think it, we're about the last, I reckon. Of It'll be die out altogether, won't it? It's part of a heritage, like, like the Lincoln Cathedral. I mean, things like that. They spend millions keeping them going, but the dialect, another 10, 15 years when we've gone, finished. There's that much kelter in the garage, I can't get me oss in there. But a fight back is on. Grimsby Central Library are hosting classes encouraging locals to learn the lingo. I think it's very important that we record it, we keep records of it, because no amount of my workshops will actually make people speak and use the Lincolnshire dialect that was prevalent 50, 80 years ago. And it's a national issue. Yeah, do we know Bill Bates who used to work for drinks down at Badger's End? Up the coast at Whitby Folk Week, there were regional dialects galore. Moor music are from Devon. I think it would be so dull if we uh, all spoke in one homogenised accent. So I, I think it's just great fun to have all these interesting words and phrases. In Borgert, no cut fruit, till in lonely Shabdin Valley. And one Lancastrian tried to do his part by setting up National Dialect Weekend. It is intangible heritage. It, it blows away in the wind. You can't put it in a glass case. The only place it lives now is in performance. John Greaves farmed near Whitby for 50 years. Don't try to stop a bulby tea. Don't go far up a rotten stee. Now what does that mean? It means don't try and stop a bull right. if it's charging by just looking at it. And don't go far up a rotten ladder. Up a rotten ladder, right. Yes. Because you are from five miles from here, but I suspect most people here would not have a clue what that meant. Well, maybe not now, I don't know. Time to find out. John gave me some words to try out on the locals. What might Brant mean? I haven't the foggiest, I'm sorry. It means steep. Oh, does it? Brant. Have you ever heard anyone using it? No, 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 no. What do you think the word stee means? Never heard of it before and I've lived here 74 years. Do you know what the word kelterment means? Never heard of it. Never. Have a guess. Kelterment? In Whitby? Yes. Never heard of it. It means rubbish. It doesn't exist in this town. <laughs> Thank Believe you. Believe you me, it doesn't. I've lived here 70 years. Fair to say, she thought I was talking a load of kelterment. Colin Patterson, BBC News, Whitby. Well, there we go. Um, let's just bring you uh, an update on the Syria crisis. Uh, ben Ki-moon has just said that the chemical weapons inspection team have been out for a third day to the site of that alleged uh, chemical attack. Uh, they will be leaving Syria by Saturday morning. So the uh, weapons uh, team, weapons inspector, leaving by Saturday morning, according to um, Ban Ki-moon in the last few minutes. That's just through on the Reuters news agency. You're watching BBC News coming up in the next few minutes.